silica. 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 Exposición de silica puede causar silicosis y otras enfermedades del pulmón. Silica, I, I know that is part of the, some of the concrete products and it's uh, actually there's a saying called silica Even though, sand. Because we think that sand just flies, some of that does is getting into our lungs and a lot of times we're not aware of that. Um, silicosis um, causes shortness of breath when the lungs are scarred. Uh, the person starts to notice that they have trouble breathing, um, a feeling like they don't get enough air. Um, that can also cause a dry cough, uh, a sensation of tightness in the chest, um, or chest pains. The most common occupations where we see silicosis are construction workers, miners, uh, and workers in foundries. The chest x-ray shows tiny scarring of the lungs in the lung fields. You can see that um, there is a whiteness to the left and the right side of the lungs. This person has shortness of breath when he walks upstairs or uh, walks outside in his neighborhood for a couple of blocks. He notices he can't get enough air. He has tightness in his chest, chest pains, and cough. Unfortunately, this condition is permanent. De octubre 2008, la regulación de Cal OSHA requiere que los contracteros controlen la exposición del polvo en sus trabajadores de operaciones concreto y mampostería como cortando, moliendo y perforación con herramientas electrónicas. El polvo se puede controlar por medio del uso de agua o aspiradora de extracción local. El empleador puede asegurar la seguridad y eficacia del sistema para reducir el polvo, que los trabajadores sean entrenados en los riesgos para la salud, métodos para controlar la exposición del polvo, el uso adecuado y el mantenimiento del equipo y una buena higiene, que los supervisores sean entrenados en los peligros y en las áreas que requieren el control del polvo y cómo configurarlos. Well, obviously using dust control is beneficial to the workers to avoid exposure to silica dust. When you get to corners, for instance, is a problem. And like it, uh, it, when you come to a joint that's already open, you'll get a little dust right at the end where they connect. But other than that, you can see they do take a, a good deal of the dust out of the job. They tend to be heavier, cumbersome, um, and, and hard to maneuver. Uh, they also don't allow you to get in all the spaces where you need to get the tool. And you also cannot see where the blade cuts at times, which can be dangerous and also um, bad for the building material that you're cutting on. When we apply pavers, concrete pavers, we have to cut them. Sometimes we can use just the, uh, the wet saw, which is nice. But sometimes when these pieces are like the, there's a paver we use that is four by two. There's no way we can put them on a wet saw. So we have to use the other type of saw that is dry. Same thing, we can modify the tools, we can give suggestions. We gotta get past, that goes back to the attitude of, I don't even know if I wanna do it. We gotta get to, yes, I wanna do it, I wanna be safe, I do not want this in my lungs. Here's my suggestions for a tool that would work for me. And we need to get the manufacturers to work on that, get them approved, and get them out into the workplace. With the dust mask, positives are definitely, depending on the type of mask you're using, um, it protects you. We always tell the guys, wear dust mask, respirators. They have their respirators hanging down. They got them up here, but they don't have them where it's supposed to go. And when you say, how come you're not wearing it? Um, makes me sweat a lot. It's uncomfortable. Uh, I don't like it. Too heavy.
Also, we just push that our our vax or bring more productivity. We add more. We have a lot of added value in terms of warranty and service. So what they're spending a lot, but they're they're getting served for two years. I think it's very important for our members and all construction workers to realize um, how serious silicosis can be, and that production is not important enough to to deviate from using the right, you know, protection against silicosis. Go home, your nose is all packed with dust and dirt and, and debris, and you know you have to really wash it out. And um, you know, if that much was in my nose how much made it to my lung, I had no idea.